Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahola, Second Swing Golf, back today in the tour van here at Minnetonka, and I'm joined by a special guest. It is Isabella McCauley, and today we've got another fun one. Uh, we've got, well, her clubs are here, and specifically her seven iron is in her hands. Um, but today we're also going to grab a ladies seven iron sort of off the rack here and sort of compare it for sort of the indication of what fitting can do for you. And so now Isabel is a very, very good player. Um, so she, you know, knows how to hit the ball straight with that beautiful little draw that I'm sure we'll see a few times, but, um, it still goes to show what, how much fitting matters. And we'll talk about swing speed. We'll talk about the different shafts in those irons, but so talk to us first, Isabella, about your set of irons, your seven iron here specifically, um, maybe the shaft a little bit, maybe the numbers that you typically get. And, you know, I know you got fit here, so talk about, you know, that fitting process as well. Yeah, absolutely. So I play a title, or sorry, a TaylorMade yeah. P790 iron, my woods are Titleist, but um, my shaft is a regular flex, so just a pretty basic, I have a little bit over a 90 mile an hour club at speed, so right in the regular flex range. Mm -hmm. um, I was fit by someone here at second swing. I have kind of a natural right to left shot. So um, this club was really good for me when I was trying to gain distance and then also just kind of keep my draw under control and be able to like work shots a little bit more too. Um, we did a little bit of a comparison with our driver. So I think yeah. it's gonna be exciting to see how the seven iron um, compares as well. Yeah, so uh, for those of you watching, we haven't yet check out the driver comparison. We took Isabella's TSI three driver compared it to a, you know, ladies flex TSI one driver. And we definitely saw some big differences there. So we'll see if that carries over here to the irons. So yeah. um, we have a Paradigm seven iron, Callaway Paradigm seven iron with a 40 gram graphite shaft, which will be very different. So yeah, absolutely. Uh, with that said, we can hit a few shots here with your gamer. Perfect. We'll see that there's that draw. Didn't take long to show up. Oh yeah. What yardage is that typically a seven iron for you on the course? Yeah, so my carry is right around 140 to 145. Okay. It can be 150, just depending on if I'm choking up or yeah. trying to get what out of it. But I would say roughly about 145. That one was smoked. Yep. Might be a little bit left. Just kind of a little bit of a closed face there. Yeah. Yeah. There yeah, I mean, and I, I like the, uh, so let's talk, the P790 iron head is, yeah. I think you mentioned a little bit where it's, it's, there is some kind of distance technology in there yeah. to kind of help with distance, but it still is a smaller compact head compared to like the cavity backs that allows you to still work the ball and this draw shows up. Whereas if you were playing a cavity back iron, and I think we might see some of that with the paradigm that the draw might not show up as much. It might be more of a kind of a straight ball flight. Yeah, exactly. I think um, normally, like you kind of touched on, the blades or smaller heads are noticeable yeah. more for shape, whereas the cavity backs are going to keep it more forgiving and just more straight mm -hmm. rather yeah. than anything. But um, yeah, normally it's going to, it's kind of cool to see, I guess, just there's really anything from a cavity back down to a blade and anything in between. So I feel like my P790 is like somewhere kind of in between. Mm -hmm. It's definitely not a blade. It's definitely not a cavity back. And um, so that's kind of what I like about yeah. it. It's it's a really good fit for me. It's able to get distance out of it. That's kind of one of the things that I need. Mm -hmm. So um, yeah, it's, it's a good, it's a good fine line for me to have this club for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're seeing that carry range kind of right up in the 140 to 145 there every yep. time. That one shot might have kind of been an error, but the yeah, rest have right been around think, the same. I think for the sake of the the data here, I'm actually going to take that out. So the it would have been the second one here that you kind of pulled. Yeah. yeah let's get one more good one then here. Perfect. We'll have, we'll have five good shots. Because what's probably going to happen is my guess here. That's another good good shot there. So. We'll talk about your, the numbers here quick with the P790, your gamer. So, I mean, you talked about 140 to 145 on the carry. That's exactly what we're, we're at here with 144.1. Yep. Um, you know, right around 5,000 on the spin. 155 total on the 
the total number. Now, granted, I know you probably play a lot more to your carry number when you're out on the golf course. Yeah. Probably worried about that more because on a soft green, you're not going to get 11 yards rollout probably. Exactly. Uh, so 20 degrees in the launch, that's pretty good. Uh, so what I'm curious now, because we're going to go to a paradigm that's going to be, it's going to be shorter. Mm-hmm. but it's also going to be a lot lighter. And so I'm curious just on the, the control of it and how much consistency that swing is going to have now. Yeah. It's probably going to, you're going to have to change it a little bit too, because those irons are a little bit longer than um, this, this Paradigm Ladies one. So let's grab that and I'll kind of first, as you get it in your hand, I'll ask you for your feedback on it and okay. how it feels, how different it is. And I can't imagine it's similar. <laughs> let's see. Oh, wow. This is already weird. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's already a lot shorter. Yeah. A um, lot bigger, bigger head, like yep. so a lot more, a um, lot thicker. So definitely a different look looking at it. It's still clean. It's just yeah. definitely a lot different than what I'm used to. There's a lot more juice behind that. Absolutely. Oh, wow. I think what we're going to see too is that's going to be a lot lower spin. Yeah. Which probably will mean a lower ball flight. Yeah. Um, you didn't hit that one really good though. No, it was good. And I think that's like one of the things is these cavity backs act more like hybrid. So they are going to go further. Yeah. It's just kind of finding that balance because a distance only helps so much when you can't keep the ball on right. the green you or can't spin it or it. anything. Yep. So. Yeah, that spin is a lot lower and the ball yeah. flight is a lot lower. Yeah, your distance is actually all things can, I bet it ends up being pretty similar. Pretty similar. So I think you got a little bit less loft. And that lower spin might keep it pretty close. Yeah, you also have a good enough golf swing where you're gonna make any club work, but. So that's where, so like you, I'm just thinking, if you get on the golf course with this club, and you do happen to get on some firmer greens, maybe. This is gonna yeah. be a problem for you because yes. right now that ball has barely reached over 60 feet in the air yep. um, with this seven iron here. So that part I imagine would be a concern for you in that low spin, darting that ball over. Absolutely, I think even just going to a normal golf course, but especially one that had a little bit firmer greens, I mean, it's just gonna hit and roll. There's no chance mm -hmm. it's gonna stop, um, so. It's, it's, you know, it can be good for some golfers. It just depends on what you're kind of looking for. If you can get it higher, maybe this is. That one get a little higher? Yeah, it was a little higher. It didn't draw though. No, definitely not my natural shot there. <laughs> you hit the, you're hitting the ball pretty darn good with that club. Yeah, it's, it's not hit bad at all. I just think it, Mm -hmm. It'll definitely show how yep. um, even just small errors, it was a little bit more Yeah. just like kind of a wide so range of misses. There's but. a couple of things. I was actually curious about the swing speed because it's a shorter shaft, but it's way lighter. But it turns out the, the length of the shaft does matter quite a bit, right? Because you swung yep. your club, you know, three miles an hour faster and you probably didn't even mm -hmm. think of that as you were swinging. So No, I didn't. Um, also, one thing I noticed right away too is how much bigger your dispersion is with the... Yes the Paradigm Club. So, and despite, you know, typically a shorter shaft means more control and, um, you know, there's uh, smaller errors, if you will, right? But for you, a smaller shaft still, just because of the build of the club, meant a bigger dispersion. Mm -hmm. um, and then we also need to talk about the spin being much, much lower, tougher to control. Um, then we can also talk about the height. Your average height was 10 feet, almost 10 feet uh, lower so that ball when it lands is kind of skidding out and the big thing for me when I look at this is the difference in carry to total so again you're not worried about total distance usually right but no. um, you have 15 yards of, of sort of a yard of difference from when your ball lands to when it is done rolling on here yep it's only 11 um, with the p790 yep. so a lot more control with the gamer that you're playing and well, that's why you're playing it. <laughs> exactly, exactly. I think this just shows as a good comparison of why, you know, getting fit is really important for you. And this could be a perfect club for someone who, who hits it a little bit higher or needs a little bit more distance and roll mm -hmm. out. But yeah, it just shows kind of how each club is so different and unique for each person. Right, yeah. There's, 
clearly a lot of these elements and you know a lot of these elements are going to be paid attention to a ton in the fitting some of them it might be as simple as um you know that someone swings even faster than you for example man or woman walks in they're going to know probably right away that that club is not quite going to be the fit yeah. right um and so it's it we always at second swing are trying to fit to somebody's swing rather than you know whether they'll they're male or female or rather or how tall or short they are or whatever it might mm -hmm. be um it's going to be about how they swing and deliver the club and so for you you know while you are you know a female player you're not going to fit into a ladies golf club and so we've got you into the p790s and that dispersion is pretty darn good right there that's five really really good shots that i know you'll take on the golf course basically every single oh time. yeah absolutely well, thank you for showing and swinging. Uh, this is a pretty good, good demonstration. And once again, we just encourage all golfers, what, regardless of the type of golfer you are, skill level, um, how far you hit it, how fast you swing it, whatever it is, uh, it's always gonna benefit you to play clubs that fit your swing as we saw today from uh, Isabel's demonstration. So thank you for stopping in today, swinging the clubs. Um, this is a really good demonstration and um, really good stuff. I think the people will enjoy it. Thank you. It was super fun to see the comparison. I had a great time.